I am a huge fan of Gregory McDonald's Fletch character. I reread the books uh, last year, maybe the year before, um, and the spin-off series Flynn. I, I think they're fantastic. I was a little worried when I heard there was a new book coming, or a new adaptation of one of my favourite Fletch books, Confess Fletch. Now, that was compounded with the fact that they didn't have Xavier Flynn in the mix either, which was a bit of a miss because he's a great character in the book. But I was so pleasantly surprised by how funny and endearing this was and how closely it stuck to the source material, which for me was key in this one. I was a little bit worried it was going to take a little too many detours. Anybody up there watching live? They gotta hear about pig orgasms. Pig what? Don't, don't, don't encourage him. You should Google it, Grizz. You would not be disappointed. Now the film is a sort of crime comedy uh, film where we have a dead body, stolen artwork, and a mystery involving our main character, Fletch. As he arrives in Boston to take over um, an apartment that he has rented for a week or so, he finds a dead body there contacting the police, bringing in uh, Mo and Grizz, uh, two police officers who are going to be investigating Fletch, positive that he is the culprit for this murder, as Fletch is also working a case of his own. He is in Boston for a reason. He's going to see an art dealer because he has heard a rumour that he has a picture that has been stolen from his fiancé's father. This man, this Count, who has a large art collection where some of it has vanished but made its way onto the black market. So we have these two stories that are going to kind of tie together at some point and come up for a fantastic conclusion. It's a mystery film. I love it. Eve, I am under suspicion of committing murder. I mean, uh, I'm not just going to strangle you. Fletch, you're so naughty. I wasn't sure exactly what I felt about John Hamm uh, in the role of Fletch but I rather enjoyed them. I found uh, it was comedic enough. He seemed to show enough smarts. Felt a little bit bumbling in places, which I never really pictured that for the character of Fletch. But I liked it. I found that he kind of had this freedom of feeling within the character. He knew a little bit of what was going on. He loved investigating the mystery, but he was almost so kind of aloof about just being open. Uh, strange mannerisms about him which carries on from the book which is fantastic. The replacement of our characters Mo and Grizz that take over Xavier uh, and Grover in the books is fine. It's just a straight swap out. The, the characters are much the same as they are in the books to a certain extent um, and I was happy for that. Is this about the bus? It was nothing personal. You're free to go. The mystery itself, because it ties so closely with the books, it's great. It, it sets everything up and it pays off wonderfully well at the end. What I was really surprised about with Confess Fletch was the way the humour landed. The way the humour landed so often as well, it was just terrific. There was one sequence where Fletch is talking to one of the neighbours um, of the apartment that he's staying in and this woman is such a disaster that it was just hilarious watching all the things play out. Did you come here tonight to see me or to look for more Oxy? Can it be both? I felt that this was a great adaptation of one of my favourite books. In fact, it made me excited to hope that this character was going to move on and maybe get more Fletch movies, maybe Karaoke Fletch next or Fletch and the Widow Bradley. You know, some of my favourite books, I would just adore to see these getting turned into it. I'd be happy to see uh, Greg Matola, the director, and John Hamm work their way through the Fletch uh, books and just create some magic because although things changed, certain aspects of them, they work well within the confines of the movie and I really enjoyed this one. I was worried about Confess Fletch and I was surprised. I really enjoyed this one. I will go back and watch it uh, again. Absolutely. I am hoping there are going to be more uh, Fletch movies because I would just love to see more of this character. It's terrific. I would love to know if you've read the Fletch books, what's your favourite, uh, if you have. 
or if you've even read the Flynn books. Uh, I would love to know if you want to see more of this, if you liked the movie, if you hated it, if you feel somewhere in the middle, why? Let me know in the comment box below. Don't forget to hit the like button because apparently it helps the videos. There's more content again up here you can see. And if you go into the description box, there are links to the Patreon, membership program, manvfilm.com, all ways in which you can support me and I would greatly appreciate that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Man V Film.